the development of players plays vital role in Atlanta overcoming Super Bowl 51 failures and returning to the cusp of another NFC Championship game berth Other sections include how Kirk Cousins holds all the cards, why Green Bay has a good plan in place, the truth about John Gruden's coaching capabilities, and more You probably won't be paying much attention to Wes Schweitzer late on Saturday afternoon. He is, after all, a right guard, and right guards don't flash much on TV unless they're doing something really, really wrong. So to you, he'll probably just kind of be there among the Falcons' offensive linemen. But to the guys running the show in Atlanta, he embodies where the team is. The Falcons spent the 195th pick in the 2016 draft on Schweitzer, and promptly shelved him. He made the team. He didn't get so much as to wear a game jersey all year. And he developed through the team's Plan D program. That meant working with backup guard Ben Garland after practice. It meant extra classroom work. It meant time with the player engagement and athletic performance staffs. It wasn't as valuable as the experience that Schweitz's draft classmates Keanu Neal, Dion Jones, Devondre Campbell, and Austin Hooper were getting. But it was the next best thing. Most importantly, because he committed to it, it worked. It's a major feather in line coach Chris Morgan's cap, because he really focused on developing Wes for the very situation that occurred this year.